Good day, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, welcome to my uh, short tutorial on uh, how to create a simple airport. Uh, I've noticed on the forums that a number of people are very uh, kind of lost uh, when it comes to creating these airports, so I'm just going to create a simple, uh, quick tutorial uh, that should be a supplement to the guide that's uh, currently on the forums, but this is in video format. So, as always, we're in uh, developer camera. We're going to create a new project, select our project folder, which is going to be, uh, well, you can put it wherever you want, but in my case, it's my FS projects, and I'm going to select this uh, new new airport, and I always create a scene, a project sources, and a project's definition. Scene is empty, project's definition is empty, project sources has a model lib, and in this case, it's, uh, it's actually empty, but that's fine. Uh, if we were to going to be including models with this we would put them in there so we select this folder and we call it new airport and we click OK and we project and we save it and so it creates this file this little definition file pretty simple tells you what the name is in the folder and what what the folder it's going to be called when you compile it so we're going to add a uh, project name is going to be new airport of course new a i r p o r t and of course in this case it's going to be a bgl so we're going to create that we're going to make sure we change this to scenery we make sure we change our uh, patch oop <laughs> wrong place uh, Go into the SDK, samples, simple scenery, and we're just going to find a little uh, placeholder. This is the big one. Make sure you change it to scenery. Uh, then, file, save. That will create this file. Okay, so that will create your, your basically your basic scenery file. So we know we're, we know we're on track. Then we, op we go to our BGL. We make sure our asset directory, in this particular case, it's going to be in scene. Because the assets that we're going to be creating are polygons, airports, and, uh, uh, and runways. And of course, scenery. And I always put a slash. And then we load in the editor. And of course, it always zooms in, which is fine. Uh, so we're just going to create okay so I got this as compact as I can <laughs> actually we can maybe make this a little better so first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a polygon now this polygon is going to be used to get rid of I'm going to be building my airport right in here so the polygon is going to be used to get rid of all the trees and vegetation that's in that area so I click add same as always hold on the left control key click the left mouse button holding down the left control key and at the last point double click voila we have our polygon we're going to exclude all now we're trying to get rid of vegetation so what we're going to do is we're going to overwrite the vegetation that's there and although you can't see it right now there is vegetation we're going to get rid of the vegetation that's there so you'll notice how now it changed gets rid of it all we're gonna do an airport area and known okay and of course we are now gonna save our scenery this is where it becomes important you notice it's saving it in scene and we're gonna call this new airport dash flatten dash poly now again you can call whatever you want but remember the next thing we're going to do after this is we're going to save a different type of file. Make sure that you do not create the same name. So we'll save it, and I'll show you what I mean. So if I go back up and I go into the scene, it created four files, an XML, an SHX, and so forth. This is very important, and you'll see why in a second. So we're going to go back into the sim. And the next thing we're going to create is we're going to create an airport. 
and we're going to add it and we'll put it somewhere down in here now we change our code which is going to be new a hit enter tab ns enter tab Anada, enter tab nova Oop. enter tab city name is Halifax enter tab airport name is going to be new a enter tab now I happen to know that the mag variant here is minus 18 or 18 degrees west and yes it's going to be a star airport now we're going to save scenery notice we're in the same directory that's why you cannot call this something different we'll just call it new dash airport and we save it and now if we go back to that directory you notice we have two different XMLs this hopefully will explain to some people why when they save their polygon and then they save their airport that it overwrites if you call it the same name so hopefully that will solve some of the problems for folks uh, on the forums okay so uh, next thing we're gonna create is we're gonna create a runway I happen to know we're gonna create one on runway 34 well, we'll move it right about in the center. And we're going to change some of the configuration. So I know that the heading happens to be 318. Uh, we'll say 2,000 feet. Perfect. Okay, hit enter. Always hit enter at the end. Exclude vegetation on one way. We'll leave that on. Uh, we're going to change our, uh, our, just to show you how to do it, I'm going to change my surface. So I want a concrete one, and if I hold my mouse over this, say the second one, click on it, change it to that. Now you'll notice in this particular view nothing happened, and that's because I'm zoomed out too far. <laughs> hmm. My mouse is suddenly deciding not not to cooperate there okay so I'm gonna zoom in and I'll show you why I'm zooming in in a second so um, so that's our material and we'll put on some markings so we'll go with some edge markings some threshold markings which these things down here show up fixed distance markers see this marker to be another one up there touchdown markings these here center dashed line is self-explanatory the numbers at the end are self-explanatory so we're good for that now we won't worry about terraforming we're going to do some lights now we're going to put low for the center and high for the edge I'm not sure under what circumstances you would ever want high lights down the center uh, because what that means is the actual physical height of the uh, of the actual light so I'm not sure you'd want to you know a foot foot high light right down the center it wouldn't last very long but anyway that's fine so we won't worry about that now we're not going to worry about any of this stuff uh, only because it's just a basic tutorial but this next part is extremely important okay so if I don't do anything else and I compile this and I bring it into the sim right here is where you're where you're going to spawn so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the runway start okay and we are going to move our runway start down here okay and if I can never get my mouse to suddenly my mouse is deciding it doesn't want to cooperate but that's fine What I'm trying to do here, zoom in far enough so you can see something. So, I don't know if you can see it on the screen, but right here is a little green line. That's the direction where you are pointing. So I'll move it over here, and then I'll press the E key, and I'm going to rotate this so that the 
gr little green arrow. You can probably see it a little better now. The little green arrow is pointing straight down the runway. That's now where you're going to start when you select runway 34. And you're going to be pointing straight down the runway. Now we're going to get rid of that one and we're going to edit the other end. Change that to move. <laughs> Zoomed out too far. Didn't like that. Okay, move her down. Now if I can get my mouse to cooperate. It's like it's 90 degrees off, which is very actually hard to... Uh, You can see the green arrow, press the E key to rotate, or you can use the gizmo. But in this particular case, I'm going to just rotate it, and we're in the right spot. Now I save scenery. I make sure that I don't, yep, and my project has to be saved. So now, uh, functionally, that's it for a runway, an airport, etc. So now, what we have to do is we have to compile this we make sure that we're on scenery and uh, tilde key clear this make sure before we click build just so make sure we don't have any errors these are sort of common things so I don't worry about those but again this is what I'm looking for finished three done zero failed so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to pause the video and I'm going to go out and I'm going to come back in and we're going to arrive at this airport Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. So now, if everything went right, um, you come back into the sim, zoom into where you're at. You should have this new A airport. Click on it, set departure, and click fly. Uh, do not forget, of course, uh, that you have to uh, move your from your packages directory, your new airport. Copy that over to your community directory. Then when you reboot the sim, uh, it should be there. So once we get in, uh, just to prove that it is in fact there, uh, again, I'll go over, uh, reiterate again, uh, some of the issues that are very important that people seem to be getting confused on. Uh, for example, when you go into the scene, you'll notice now there's five files in there four for the polygon and one for the uh, for the airport itself. And I think what's happening to some people is when they save their polygon, they're just calling it new airport or whatever. And then when they go to save the airport, they call it the same thing, which of course will... Uh... which will, of course, uh, overwrite the polygon. And so I think that's what's happening with uh, a lot of people. They're, uh, you know, like I said, they're saving, they save their polygon, they call it new airport. Uh, and then when they save their airport, they call it new airport, which will, of course, overwrite this XML. And that's why their polygon isn't working anymore. So uh, hopefully uh, this helps somebody. Again, this is not a real fancy runway or anything. Um, some of the other gotchas are... Uh, I'll open up my project here. Um, the gotchas are making sure that this is scenery and not aircraft, because by default it's aircraft. Uh, make sure that when you open up your BGL, that this is set to wherever your assets are. Now, in our case, our assets are just the BGLs. But if you were creating uh, airport and included custom models, you would put wherever you're saving your custom models at. And of course, this scenery. Now, this scenery directory, I'll show you how this uh, affects stuff. If I go into my packages and I go into new airport now, I have a scenery directory, and that's where my BGLs are saved. So you can call it whatever you want, but that just gives you an idea 
of uh, okay, it just gives you a decent idea of uh, where everything is so again hopefully this uh, helps somebody and uh, you have a nice day